Hey, what's up guys? It's Kari. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna take you guys along. It's pamper day for me today. I'm getting my eyelashes refilled. I'm getting my hair redone. It is 8.30 in the morning and I'm on my way to get my eyelashes refilled. These are them right now. They're a little pitiful. I literally got them done four weeks ago, so I'm way past my refill. We're gonna go there right now, and I'll see you guys after. All right, y'all, so I just got out of my eyelash appointment, and this is the first time I went to this girl. My aunt lives in California, and she comes down every so often, so she'll just do my lashes, but she couldn't make it down this month, and I really wanted to keep them on. I went to someone locally so I could get them done, and y'all, like, I love them so much. She did so good. I swear lashes turned you into a whole different person. It is now 10.30. I'm going to Starbucks right now to get some breakfast. Still on my caffeine strike for Lent. I have one week left. It's, I can't even tell you how hard it is. So I still can't get anything with caffeine in it. So I'm gonna just get like a hot chocolate or something. I'm gonna do that and I'll probably sit in the parking lot for a little bit so I can waste some time until my hair appointment. I really don't feel like going all the way home and coming all the way back. Let's go to Starbucks. Oh, there's a lizard in there. Starbucks, what can we get for you? Hi, can I get a um, tomato, I'm sorry, tomato mozzarella sandwich? Oh, righty, what else for you today? Um, a grande white hot chocolate. Would you like a hot or ice? Hot, please. And what else for you? That's all. There's literally a lizard in there. Never tried the white hot chocolate. I really don't even get hot chocolate or anything like that. But because I can't have caffeine, I just like have to get something to soothe the craving craving of me feeling like I'm getting coffee, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna try this. I've tried so many non-caffeinated drinks, y'all. Nothing compares to coffee, obviously, but it's I'm trying. We only have like T minus seven, eight, nine days. Okay, wait, <laughs> this is good though. Oh my God, why haven't I gotten this like the past 30 days? This is good and it tastes like I'm drinking coffee. And then I just got, this is, I don't usually get this, but I get Starbucks almost literally every day. Ever since my surgery, I've been having like really hard times with eating and not even in a way I can't eat. No, like I just, because I'm not doing much or anything or because I'm not moving and doing what I can. My appetite has completely gone to shit and I'm always nauseous. And I promise, no, I am not pregnant. I promise you. I'm just nauseous and I can, I'm very picky with what I eat right now just because I'm, I don't know, because I want to eat my food, but I'm never hungry to eat it. Like I'm always nauseous. So whatever I'm hungry for, I get and I don't even care. So I guess while I'm sitting here, I can tell y'all what I'm doing to my hair. My hair used to be short up to here like my senior year. Well, the past year I've gr grown it out. So it's grown a lot for a year. I love the color of my hair, like I love my hair. It's just, the ends are so dead and to keep up with all of this gross mess, you can kind of see it, it's just so much. And then for summer coming up too, it's already hard to keep this all untangled. Going to the beach is just gonna make it worse. Like when I, if I go to the beach with this hair, it's like, look, it, it just, it's not it and I'm so over it. I'm so ready for a change. It's just so, ugh, it's kind of nasty. I have an hour until I have my hair appointment and it's five minutes away, but I really don't want to go home. I feel like a brand new person. I have a lot of friends in esthetician and cosmetology school, so I get things done for free a lot because I always need a model. So I've done a couple things like uh, my friend's first time doing lashes, not these, but a while ago. She did them on me, so I got a free set of lashes. My friend washed and styled my hair for the day. I was like, I'll take a free wash because everybody hates washing their own hair. Last week, my friend needed a model to do microneedling on. So she's like, hey, if you're interested, like I'll do it on you. I was like, uh, yeah, cause it's a $250 thing to get done and I got it for free. I was thinking it was gonna hurt so much worse than it did and I didn't even have the numbing cream. It really didn't even hurt that bad. I mean, I do have a high pain tolerance, but so I got that done. I did break out though, but that's not because of that. It's just because lady time, her hormone, 
hormonal acne. Why would the, that sound wrong? Hormonal, hormonal, no, hormonal. Hormonal acne? I mean my skin like itself looks great so I'm guessing it did do a lot but yeah how exciting I get to just get things for free like it's so nice to have friends do you like videos like this because I know I can't do many workout videos right now and so many people have told me that they miss those kind of videos but I can't do them right now like y'all just gonna see the same leg routine four times a week if I just do do you like little vlogs it's so hard to vlog you don't think it's hard to vlog and then you go to vlog and you're like what the hell am i supposed to video because this was a last minute decision that i was gonna vlog today because i'm like oh wait like i'm getting a lot of stuff done to me today might as well just video it like that should be a good video i mean i hope it's a good video i hope you'll enjoy it look at this my hair really grew that much since i last dyed it and i dyed it four months ago and i've been growing it out for years so do this three times My hair grew that much in a year. I feel like that's so much. My hair used to take forever to grow out. I literally started growing it out a year ago because I was like, I wanna get married in four years. <laughs> and I want long hair for my wedding. So I'm gonna have to start growing it now because it takes forever to grow. And then look at, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like I'm not doing anything special to my hair. I wash it like normal just regular shampoo I don't even know what I did but my aunt was telling me collagen helps your hair grow a lot too and pre-workouts have that in it was it collagen it's something in the pre-workout that actually helps your hair grow but I mean like that's not what it's used for but that little thing that's in there can help nourish your hair and help it grow so I'm like okay so maybe it's the pre-workout if anybody wants to do a science experiment on that oh please do it and let me know that would be so cool. You cut your hair short and you don't take pre-workout for a year. You do all your normal things and see how long it grows and you measure that. And then you cut it short the next year again. And then you use pre-workout that whole year and see if it grows longer. Oh my God, I don't have the patience for that. But if somebody does, that would be such a cool experiment. And you should tag me in it. Give me some type of recognition. That would be a cool ass experiment. Oh my God, somebody please do it. It's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> I feel like a brand new person. Cut it all off. I dyed it a little bit, made it a little bit more ashy blonde is what I used to be and I love it so much. Like I was so hesitant on like cutting my hair for a while. I wanted to, but then I would keep psyching myself out of it and I finally did it and I'm so happy with it. Like I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, my head feels lighter. Everybody loves me more with short hair. I don't see anybody till tomorrow. So I just did my makeup so I could take a picture. Look how freaking cute. I did not think I was gonna be this happy about it, but I am. I feel so like grown. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of video. I'll probably end up doing a lot more like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Later.